set in for the people of Danamora, where tonight the entire community is enjoying something of a return to normalcy. WPTZ's Rachel Cars is live in Danamora tonight. Hi, Rachel. Hi, George. There are very few signs that remain of the long manhunt that started right here three weeks ago. Tonight, residents tell me they're looking towards the future. I brought over a bead kit yesterday, and we didn't know what we were going to use it for, and we just wanted to make bracelets. Three weeks ago, 10-year-old Taylor Fletcher's quiet hometown of Danamora was put on the map when two convicted murderers made a daring escape from maximum security prison. After an exhausting manhunt fit with thousands of law enforcement, Fletcher wanted to find a way to help. Me and Abby thought of an idea to just make them for the CO cops and then sell them for the money. So they got to work, stringing beads and selling the bracelets to neighbors, all with the idea to donate half the profits to the men and women who searched tirelessly for the inmates. I'm thankful that my, my children have the heart and, and thankfulness in them to thank the troops. Parents say the search was difficult on the whole family. If we weren't outside with the kids. We were in the house, locked in the house with them, doing daily activities, trying to just keep their minds busy and, you know, keep the focus off from the law enforcement. Lori Supley lives on Bucks Corners Road. Her home was within the perimeter of the Katyville search. She says life after the manhunt has been quiet. I actually slept with both eyes closed last night for the first time in weeks. Um, because it is very nerve wracking. I mean, you end up, you hear a noise, then, you know, you end up, I mean, you wake up. Um, not that you end up, you were into a deep sleep, anyways, but, you know, every little crack, creak, um, you know, what was that? And it's just, it, it was very intense. I'm sure very many people here feel the same way tonight, all very relieved to be putting this behind them. Live in Danamora tonight, Rachel Cars, WPTZ News Channel 5. Indeed, Rachel, neighbors across the region can put their guns away and bring the dogs inside now that the two convicted killers are no longer on the run.